Let's see um, another question, another topic regarding uh, mathematics. Okay, we want to see the exponential equation. Okay, exponential equation. Now, exponential equation um, has relationship with uh, the laws of indices. Has relationship with indices. Okay, but it's also what an equation. So, exponential equation is um, an equation in which the exponent or the index is an unknown. Okay, now we saw a lot of indices whereby we said that the indices are um, the um, topic that relates to where our power is the, what is the index. Okay, so for instance, um, exponential equation relates to a situation whereby the index is an unknown variable. For instance, if we have something like 2x equal um, 32 or 2x equal 32, it means this is an example of what an exponential equation. Why? The power, this is called the power, the power or the index or the exponent is what an unknown in which you be required to solve for. Okay? Now to solve a question related to this, all we have to do is to ensure we express the bits to be the same. Okay? To express them to be what in terms of the same bits and you solve for the exponent which is what the unknown. Okay? For instance, if for example we are given a question like this, it said um, 4x equals you can say simplify 4x equals 32. For instance, a 4x equals 32. Now, the first thing we have to ask now, how can we uh, ensure that these two bits are what are the same? How can we express them to be the same? So, we are going to look for a value such that um, we can express this in terms of its uh, powers and also express this. Okay? Now, if I check, now 4 can still be 2 raised to the power 2 x. Okay? 2 raised to the power 2 can be 4 because 2 times 2 is 4. And this x now equal to 32 can be 2 raised to the power 5 because 32 can give you 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16. 16 times 6 is 32. Okay, so uh, 2 to the power 5 is what? 32. So in this situation, then you can see that they now have to say what? The same base. Okay, so what do we do? We equate them. Just say equating indices. That is this, we cancel this. So you are left with their powers. So you have 2x equal 5. Now, in now, uh, in any equation, it's to get the unknown. So our x becomes our unknown. So we have to play the unknown. How do we do? We divide this side by the coefficient of x, which is what? 2. So we divide this side by 2. If this cancels this, my x is equal to 5 over 2. Okay? Or 2 over 1 over 2. It comes by what? x. So that's how to solve our exponential equation. This is one of the topics that comes out in you know, um, external exams also. Okay? Now also, if we are asked to solve another question, let's say for instance, we are asked to solve 3 raised to power x equal 27. 3 raised to power x equal 27. The same way, we are going to look at a situation where we can express this. Okay, let me use, for instance, the same um, 9 raised to power x equal 27. We're going to express this such a way whereby they can be what are the same things. Okay? So if we do that, now we can express 3 as 3 raised to the power 2. Because 3 times 3 will give us 9. Okay? Multiply by its x equal as 27 can be expressed as 3 raised to the power 3. Because 3 times 3 is 9, that times 3 is 27. So at each time before you are going to look for a way in which um, the two bases should be the same before you solve for what they are known. So at this point now, we can equate what indices. This cancels this. So we are left with 2x equal 3. 
So how do we get x? We divide both sides by 2. So our x is now equal to 3 over 1. So that's how to solve exponential equation. Now we have these complex ones that I'm going to solve now. The first one says solve the equation 27x plus 2 equal 9 um, root power 2 x. Okay? So if we have to solve that 27x plus 2. So the first one is 27x plus 2 equal 9 root to power 2 x. Just like what we just did now. Now, how do we solve this? We are going to express them, okay? Because most time you might not see those simple ones we've done. It might be something complex like this. But ensure that you are going to express them in terms of descending. Now, to descend can also be given as three raised to power three, okay? To descend. Now, in brackets, our x plus two, because this will have to multiply everything here. Now, equal to our 9 can also be 3 raised to power 2 because 3 times 3 is 9 multiplied by 2x. Okay, so at this point now, they are now the same base, so we can equate, cancel with each other. So we have now 3 into x plus 2 equal 2 times 2x to give me 4x. Okay, if that's the case now, now, in this point now, I have to put this bracket. 3 times x is 3x plus 3 times 2 is 6 equal 4x. Now, I want to get x. I have to ensure that they are all together. I collect like terms. Now, I have 3x here. Now, this cross into my terms to minus 4x equal. Now, this coming here turns to minus 6. Okay? Remember, whatever this side crosses going to side, it changes to the opposite. So, when it crosses into my it's plus, it turns to minus. This is plus 6, comes to the other side, comes to minus. 3x minus 4x, we are left with minus x equal minus 6. Now, when we get x and not minus x, we can even divide both sides by minus 1. So, we divide both sides by minus 1. Now, minus cancel with minus. My x equal positive 6. So, that is the value of this. So, my x is 6. Okay? Now, the first one. And the second one we are about to solve, we said 9 raised to the power of 2x plus 1 equal 81x minus 2 over 3x. Okay? Now, the same way we can express this also, since we have 3 in already the base, that's already at the least form, we can express all these to be in terms of what the least form. So 9 can also be seen as 3 raised to power 2 into 2x plus 1. 3 raised to power 2 is 9, then 2x plus 1 equal our 81 can be 3 raised to power 4. Because 3 times 3 is 9, 9 times 3 is 27, 27 times 3 is 81, that's raised to power 4. Into x minus 2 divided by my 3x already here. Okay, so if I solve for that, I'll have 3, and I open this bracket, 2 times 2x will give me 4x plus 2 times 1 will give me 2. Now equal to 3, and if I open this bracket, 4 times x will give me 4x minus 4 times 2 will give me 8. All divided by my 3 was x. Now, this can also be written as 3 raised to power 4x plus 2 equal 3 raised to power 4x minus 8. Now this is like the division, so it can also be written as divided by 3x. Okay, this is the numerator. The line is division, this is the division sign. Now the numerator is 3x. So we remember our laws of indices. We said if the bases are the same, and it is one division. We we'll subtract their powers. So we we'll have 3, 4x plus 2 equal, we we'll take one of the base, now we have 4x minus 8, now minus x. Okay? So in this one we we'll have 3, 4x plus 2 equal 3, now 4x minus x will give me 3x minus 8. Okay? So at this point now, 
this point now, they are now the same what this would equate that this as each other. So we are left with 4x plus 2 equal 3x minus 8. So our main aim is to get x. What do we do? We collect that terms. So we have 4x, that this crosses over is not so, minus 3x equal minus 8 is here, that this crosses over is not so, minus 2. So 4x minus 3x will give us x minus 8 minus minus, so our value is what? Okay, so that third one, it does 1 over 1 over x raised to power x equal 3 raised to power minus x over 3 times 81 raised to the power of x. Now, how do we solve this now? Now, the same way, now this can also be written as 1 over our 9 can be expressed as 3 raised to power 2x. Okay, that 3 raised to power 2 will give us 9. So, we are equal to 3 raised to power minus x over our 3 here times our 81 can be expressed in terms of 3 as 3 raised to power 4x. But 3 raised to power 4 will give 81, then this x. Okay, so at this point now, I can solve that as now this can give me 3 raised to power minus 2x. If you remember our laws of indices, where we say if we have 3 raised to power minus 2, it can be written as 1 over 3 raised to power 2. If you remember that because of the negative, it turns to 1 over 3 raised to power 2. So the same way, if you add this point, you can come back to this point. Okay, that's the law. So we have 1 over 3 raised to power 2 x. It can also be written as 3 raised to power minus 2 over x minus So at this point, if we simplify further, so we have 3 raised to power minus 2x equal to, now since they are the same and in division, we just take one and subtract their power. So we have minus x minus 1 plus 4x. So, we will solve now. At this point now, we can equate indices. We can cancel each other. So, we have minus 2x in the power equal minus x. Now, this minus of multiply everything in the bracket. Minus, that is this. We have minus 1 and minus 4x. Because minus x plus is minus. So, at this point, we collect like terms. So, first of all, we have minus 2x. Minus x minus 4x. We give us minus 5x minus 1. So now this comes to the other side. We have minus 2x plus 5x equal minus 1. So minus 2x plus 5x we give us 3x equal minus 1. So at this point, to get our x, we divide both sides by 3. So this divide by 3, this divide by 3. So this cancels this by x equal minus 1 over 3. So that's the value of what? Of x. Okay. So 
Remember, we are on TikTok, we are on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. Uh, this platform, type that King's tutor to learn more. We can't, um, we've seen some examples, but we can't continue because of uh, the time and the limitation of this word, disc. Okay? So ensure that you follow us in that platform so that you can learn more. Okay? Learn more and understand more. So now let's see another topic as regards mass.